In this video, we are going to talk about the Tesla helicopter. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Welcome to TechSpot. Designer Antonio Paglia appears to believe that the Tesla helicopter is well on its way to becoming a reality. With its emphasis on efficiency and speed, the helicopter would be an excellent addition to departments such as safety and patrol, allowing the administration to more effectively patrol the air and the grounds while also assisting in emergencies. Isn't that great? Unless something drastic happens, aviation traffic will increase sevenfold by 2050 resulting in a fourfold increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Elon Musk has made many provocative statements concerning electric airplanes throughout his career. His Tesla will live and grow because, if Tesla investors quit investing, the Chinese will come in and buy it out from under them. In any case, pure electric aircraft will be a low priority on Tesla's list of priorities. So what the company does have to offer is a unique perspective. In the new ID TechX paper, Manned Electric Aircraft 2020-2030, the details are laid out in great detail. It is necessary to increase the energy density of batteries. The power density of motors combined with controllers is a close second. In fixed wings, distributed thrust is achieved by up to 20 propeller motors. As a result, motors and their controllers account for a significantly greater proportion of the aircraft's total cost. Some of the advantages include a shorter takeoff distance, half the wing mass of a fixed wing, longer endurance, redundancy, and improved control. Vertical takeoff and landing (VTOL) aircraft with up to 36 thrusters minimize inefficiency when compared to helicopters and provide redundancy, as well as hands-off stability and maneuverability. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has stated that once batteries are capable of producing 400 watt hours per kilogram with a power cell to overall mass ratio of between 0.7 and 0.8, a pure electric transcontinental aircraft becomes compelling. Buy Aerospace is the company to use as a standard in this situation. Orders for its 100% electric planes total over 400, 165 million dollars which are divided between its two-seater E-Flyer 2 with a good 3.5 hours endurance and four-seat E-Flyer 4 with an even more impressive 4.2 hours of endurance, both of which are available now. The addition of the solar wing option can provide an additional range. It is reasonable to believe that 400 watt-hours per kilogram will bring us from these training planes to intercontinental flight because the battery cells are from LG Chem and have roughly 260 watt-hour per kilogram of capacity? The answer is yes, particularly if we take into account small aircraft with distributed thrust, solar bodywork such as Tesla's promises for its land vehicles, and lighter weight materials for everything. Solid State and Polymer Batteries 2019 to 2029, a report published by ID TechX, predicts that better energy density will be combined with non-flammability in the future. By Aerospace, as well as the vast majority of other single propeller pure electric aircraft, employs Simeon's radial flux permanent magnet PM motors with a power density of 5 kilowatts per kilogram of weight. Two pure electric airplanes use Yasa axial flux PM at a rate of 10 kilowatts per kilogram, and several designers have promised rates of 15 to 20 kilowatts per kilogram, resulting in weight reductions of up to 75% in some cases. We conclude that transcontinental pure electric aircraft with an endurance of 8 hours is a possibility in 10 years or more. Several essential enabling technologies will support electric vehicles on land, in water and in the air, in addition to the traditional light weighting and drag reduction techniques. Here they are, demonstrating Tesla's capabilities and the importance of those capabilities to intercontinental airplanes. The use of structural electronics ranges from the Lamborghini Terzo Millenio with supercapacitor bodywork to three car companies promising energy independent solar cars by 2020, and Tactotech, which uses in mold structural electronics to reduce electrical and optical parts by 90% in its products. 
Tesla is funding research into solar-powered bodywork. The replacement of a metal body with electrically smart plastic results in massless energy, as defined by Imperial College London. The weight of the car and then the plane decreases. The volume and weight of the cargo rise, and the bodywork serves as a supercapacitor. Tesla 3 automobile outperforms the competition in terms of electric motor generators. Tesla's new PM Reluctance Motors are the most efficient on the market, and they are currently being used in other Tesla vehicles. Only Tesla Motors are susceptible to significant price increases in neodymium compared to the other volume successes. Tesla has demonstrated that it is capable of designing superior aero motors. Tesla's traction battery systems are based on cells manufactured by Panasonic, which has now formed a joint venture with Toyota to develop batteries for the next generation. Tesla purchased Maxwell Technologies in part because of its battery electro technology and its Chinese manufacturing will employ batteries made by a Chinese company. A substantial competitive advantage is provided by Tesla's global charging network, which includes the guarantee of zero emissions, off-grid charging and 15-minute charging. The same is required by airports and airfields all around the world. Tesla is involved in energy collecting and regeneration, however, it is not the industry leader in this field. Even when used inside the vehicle, the most efficient solar bodywork, Hanergy, can be extremely useful. Mercedes-Benz vehicles are equipped with an active suspension that generates power. When braking, the propeller on the Bi Aerospace E-Flyer reverses direction to generate electricity. In the future, this may happen in a cloud, during a steep descent, or on the airstrip when there is strong wind. Even though Tesla's Maxwell is the world's leading manufacturer of supercapacitors, it does not employ the non-toxic, non-flammable aqueous electrolyte that East Asian users prefer. Expect to see them on airplanes, at least not anytime soon. The use of fuel cells in aircraft has been a failure. Tesla does not need them. Tesla is well ahead of its competitors in the field of power electronics, thanks to the use of innovative components that can be shared across a variety of activities. Experts in teardown acclaim the military-grade quality, which is all directly applicable to aviation. It must be relocated to the lighter, more efficient 800-volt area, which is now used by certain rival electric automobiles and pickup trucks. Indeed, the Rolls-Royce AWCEL Pure Electric Aircraft Development which is attempting to break the world record for airspeed, is operating at 750 volts. Tesla is far ahead of the competition in low-power electronics, sensors and sensor fusion, including innovations that are extremely valuable in airplanes, such as the reduction of over one kilometer of wire in automobiles through the use of antennas on board and the intricacy of the design. Its software, wireless upgrades, user interface, and integration of heating and cooling are all considered to be of the highest quality. Local energy harvesting to remove electrical lines must be implemented next. A domestic airplane can have 100 kilometers of cabling on board. Regional aircraft that are entirely powered by electricity is more than a pipe dream. Zunum Aero claims to have received approximately $100 million in pre-orders for its nine-seater single-pilot pure electric domestic aircraft, which is scheduled to be delivered in 2022. From automobiles to aircraft, software, connectivity and artificial intelligence are now essential. Tesla is almost one of the most admired firms in this country, and its ability to include features such as camper mode, falcon wing doors, and other innovations into its aircraft means that it has the potential to completely redesign the aircraft, making it more inspiring and thrilling. Musk even envisions a pure electric aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, as well as supersonic flying at high altitudes. It is necessary to move to level flight, according to Musk, to succeed. The equipment you'd use for vertical takeoff and landing isn't designed for high-speed flying. It's fascinating to think about flying in an electric plane because you want to get up as high as possible, but you need a certain amount of energy density in the battery pack because you have to overcome gravitational potential energy to do so. Once you've overcome gravitational potential energy and reached a high altitude, the amount of energy you expend during a cruise is little, and you'll be able to reclaim a significant portion of your gravitational potential energy on the way back to Earth. 
Indeed, some developers are already hard at work on small, all-electric aircraft with rotating thrusters, which are currently in the prototype stage. Musk, on the other hand, believes that electric automobiles are vital, solar energy is important, and stationary energy storage is important too. These are far more crucial than the development of electric supersonic VTOLs. Perhaps Bay Aerospace, Zunum Aero, and other companies have a clear path to success after all. Meanwhile, there are over 100 pure electric manned VTOL concepts now in flight or development, but their endurance is critically limited. Remove the pilot from the air taxi to increase endurance for safety reasons. That can be harmful and unproven, and it may even be illegal at this time. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.